All right, so the latest update in 10.5 has a lot of cool new features. And this one is one of them. It's sort of like a fast workflow type of hack uh, that 10.5 introduced. And I wasn't gonna dedicate a video to this, but I figured, you know, it's probably important. You guys will probably wanna see this. Uh, there's a lot of like drag and drop workflows within the 10.5 to quickly get you to get to what you wanna do. So for instance, here I have a drum kit opened up. And let's say I just want to quickly drop this, this clap right here into a sampler or whatever I want to do. I could just take that sample here, drag that into this gray area over here, and you can decide where you want this sample to live. You can put it in a quick sampler, in a drum machine designer, or into an alchemy setup. But for this, I'm going to go to drum machine designer, just drop that in. It's going to quickly make that drum kit for me. And there it is right there. And then I can go ahead and just quickly uh, go ahead, open up my step sequencer and and quickly get that pattern in there. So just like that, I went from having my clap straight into a sampler, or in this case, the drum machine designer. And then I went into sequencing that sound. So it doesn't only work with drag and dropping one sample. It also works on multiple samples as well. So if I want to go ahead and just just take a bunch here. I could take all that and drag it, drag, drag it into Drum Machine Designer or into a sampler chromatic. And it's gonna pull that into a sampler. And I can quickly just go ahead and essentially create drum kits on the fly just like that very quickly and then I could go ahead and just save it here and you are good to go so it definitely just helps the workflow of working with samples a lot quicker because you just want to get to it uh, you can also let's say we want some hi-hats here I'm gonna go back to uh, let's click back let's go to closed hat let's just take a couple samples here we're gonna drag it in we're gonna bring it into a drum machine designer it's gonna load it into there and then I can go ahead and just quickly program in a pattern here let's say we want to add in a kick let's go back here let's bring in a kick Let's take this kick over here. We can drag it into the drum machine designer here. And we can quickly go ahead and create a pattern there. All right, so here I created a couple of different instances of drum machine designer, but that's okay because it is such a lightweight plugin now that we can have multiple instances of that plugin. We don't have to drag in the sample all into uh, the same drum machine designer if you don't want to. And you can see how quickly your workflow can be to quickly get from samples to idea to into logic as an arrangement. And then on top of this drag and drop workflow, you can quickly open up live loops if you want to create this sort of like a live session. And we can just go ahead and take this region, drag it over here, drag this over here, drag this over here. So there's just a bunch of drag and drop features here. There's a lot of workflows there. So I just wanted to show you that and uh, you can go ahead and play around with that and see how that works out for you. 10.5 is turning to be one of my favorite updates that Logic has dropped. Uh, once again, if you have a question on this, you can go ahead and ask me in the comment section below. Happy to chat down there. And as usual, if you did like this video, remember thumbs up, share it, and of course, hit that subscribe button for more great videos like this one. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later. Peace.